Hello everyone and welcome in. Today we are doing yet another uh, day of D&D. Today we're running until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'm pretty sure Jirly's going to be like passed out for most of it. But uh, we'll see. We just left a cave of uh, goblins and um, well, a little, little spoiler alert, we might be leveling up today. And I don't know what then that means, boss battle or what. But uh, I'm getting my notes together and we're just gonna jump right in. Yeah. Then let me get back into the chat. Look at that. Elias. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 I'm okay, getting so all Ellie my did... notes up. And there's okay. something on my screen. Okay, so first we were kind of in that corner in the... Um, little goblin area. And so, mm -hmm. first, Omar, like, nunchucked his two, like, uh, little hand axes into, the, like, the chest of one of them. And then he got hit a couple times. We cleared it. But as we were leaving, Elias decided, hey, I'm gonna track down that one last <laughs> remaining goblin to make him pay for a living. <laughs> and so he went, he swung, and he missed. The goblin swung and hit. So Elliot <laughs> swung and missed, and then this goblin swung and hit him and knocked him. Dude and so got Julie, like freaking nat twenties, I swear. Yeah. Well, Julie had to go and save him, and so he got back up and he's like, "I didn't hear no bell," and so <laughs> Julie's like, "Get your ass out!" And she exposed her wings, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, it's my God, my, my actual <laughs> heavenly, or heavenly Father, Lord." And so now he's following her. <laughs> yeah, I, think I got some perfect. real bad rolls. <laughs> Let me just say that. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> now, the only thing I wish I knew how to do with with this is I don't have a bot for this. So I'm for at least for the players, you might need to actually uh, have. You might actually have to listen to the stream at one point. Because I have no other way of doing this because I couldn't figure out how to put it onto the roll twenty appropriately. Okay. Okay. So just want to let us know, I guess. When I'm gonna yes, I, I will give you the warning of that when it comes up, but I'm giving you that that quick warning now. So we want to do it right now, yeah? No. Okay. 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 Got it. No, I just I, I knew I forgot to mention that before I clicked live. I forgot what you just said. Can you repeat? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I said when it come when I say that you're going to need to be listening to the to my stream for a moment, it's mainly for audio cue stuff. Okay. That's all. No nothing nothing enormously insane, just just that. Okay, nay. Alright, well I got it. I got your stream pulled up, so I'm good to go. All right. like good. Cool. <laughs> okay, I okay. I see no okay. delays. I see no delays on myself, and that's important. Cool. Alright. So if you can see we returned to the town, and if I remember correctly, Julie has decided to go back and get some sleep for the evening. While the rest of you... I almost fell on my face. <laughs> yes. No, like, literally, I almost tripped on the blanket and fell oh. on my face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I didn't actually do it, but I almost did. I stepped on the blanket. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time I've seen someone literally eat shit today. <laughs> I, I a co-worker of mine literally ate shit. Like, she was running, and she just literally just fell and tripped and just ate it. Oh. Well, I'm glad it wasn't the literal version of that, because I was a little worried. Because <laughs> when it no, literal. No, no I, I use the phrase literally eating shit when someone trips and just takes a mouthful of... No, 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 I, no, I figured it was just a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> it's the only time I purposely am using the word literally incorrectly. But! So, um... Yes. So, Julie is going back to sleep. The rest of you return to the theater. And so, 
Let's do that, shall we? As soon let's do that and move you over as soon as it wants to make me on screen. So, as you return to the theater, Ooh. you find it is actually for once packed full of people, because the person who's been running the marketing has been doing a very good job of keeping people wanting to come back to the theater. Respect. And as they promised, they would regather the crowd as promised for that. With that being said, um, the three of you come back into the building in the same way that you say before. Uh, Sign very quickly gives uh, Sasha and Omar and language. What? Hello. English language Hi. is hard. Yes. And Elias, Elias, I'm gonna get it right eventually. I'm gonna get us right eventually. One of these days, it's gonna get. I'm gonna get it. Um, because my tongue doesn't want to say the name correctly. Words for are some hard. Reason. It's okay. Words in general are hard. Either way, uh, Sign says um, to the three of you that oh, uh, she has to get ready for the for the start of it. Uh, and we'll meet you all inside momentarily. Uh, we'll meet you all inside, get comfy, uh, get seats. And it's like she even, she winks at Sasha and goes, we saved you a couple seats up front. Okay, quick question for you before we start the performance. Mm -hmm. I still have the bag of goods. Am I, yes, does she do. just want me to hold on to it then, I guess? Um... Uh, she, she would have probably, yes, she would have asked you to hand over the bag before, um, okay. before separating. Okay, yeah, I figured, because obviously that's part of the show, so yeah. I, I yes, that is, it is literally the reason why you all went out there in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> well, that and what was ever in the safe, which she currently has on her. Yeah. Uh, do you hand over the stuff? That's the question. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm okay. in a mixed company. Of course, I'm gonna pass it over. I mean, that'd be awkward. That would. No, be I'm not. I'm not doing it. it over. Fifty billion people around me. Yep. So she gladly hand the bag over. She disappears into the backstage door, uh, and as and you should be freely able to move yourself to the front row. Um. Before I do that, is there like yes. a concession stand or like a gift area or somewhere there's like a type of vendor? Not necessarily, but sign uh, as you, so, sign does see you kind of like wandering. Off. Oh no, sorry. The 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 foreman, the guy who was running the show, the Barker outside, and it goes, "Ah, you must be our special guest. Don't worry, we got your special request waiting for you in your seats." Oh, okay. And then I'm if my special request is granted. Omar, can you come sit with me up front? Mm-hmm. You, as you arrive at your seats, you do find, respectively, uh, not the best quality made, as they had very little time to make them, but there is, respectively, <laughs> a, a foam finger-esque <clears throat> sign that says, and I quote... I'm gonna get, gotta get your exact wording correctly without it crashing on me. Eh, stop crashing, Discord, please. I don't have time you want me to for pull you it to up? do this. Yes, please. Cause... Okay, um, yeah. it says, um, signs number one fan, and yep. then Omar in his seat. He has a sign that says, I'm the signs number one fan, and it has an arrow pointing towards me. <laughs> so. Now you see, here's the best part. There's actually, there, there, the arrow is is fa initially the seats are set up in a certain way that th that he can only sit in one seat appropriately otherwise the arrow is pointing the wrong way <laughs> then you're gonna sit right to the right of me omar okay <laughs> i just moved back to the same seat i was in before yeah do you, do you need me to move you over omar yes please okay yeah wow there you are Okay, you're okay, in the front row now. Hmm? Omar, when sign comes out, I'm gonna hold up my phone finger, and I want you to hold up the sign 
So she sees that you're with sign number one fan, and the, and she'll see that it's me. <sighs> okay. Omar just gives a nice nod. Good, good. Nod the nod. All right. So you hear the sounds of drums very lightly beginning to play as the lights focus directly onto the sta main stage. From the main stage, a man just like you, I'm gonna say you saw before, enters the stage. Human man in red colorful, cl colorful clothes that you, that was current, that was outside before addressing people into the building, stands on front and goes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and patience. Our show will officially begin. And he snaps his fingers and a little bit of sparks uh, appear before him. And a little bit of smoke begins rumbling and rolling onto the stage as he disappears once again underneath the, the, underneath the smoke cloud. As this is the time I would suggest people to listen in. Okay, uh, hold on. As music begins to play. And on to the stage. From beneath the smoke. One moment as I switch. And a little bit of smoke begins rumbling and rolling onto the stage as he disappears once again underneath the the underneath the smoke cloud. All as of you. This is the time. I was it is sign. Captain. As she. Hmm. Are you supposed to be playing music right now? Yes. Oh yeah. As stop music a second ago. I thought play. that was on purpose. And on to the, the stage. Song. Oh. From. See. I hear it now. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's cool. And there we go. She appears from beneath the smoke. <laughs> Rises a a woman that is well known to all of you. It is Sim. As she, hmm? are you supposed to be playing music right now? Yes. Oh yeah, stop this second ago. I thought that was on purpose. It is. It's part of the song. Oh. See? I hear it now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And. She appears before and opens her and uh, and stands there in her very stylish red jacket. Which, by the way, I'm going to do something very special because someone should because you all should be able to uh, be able to see this on in your journals because I put a picture of a sign in her full outfit officially uh, in all your journals. So she comes out in her full outfit. Um, yes, the skull is part of the act. It here, is under her arm. She places it in front of her and puts it on the ground. This from from all... <laughs> and as she shakes her arms, a she moves her hands in a sudden jer uh, shuddering motion as, as eight knives, four in each finger, four in between her fingers, appear before her. She begins to then slow begins to slowly begins to juggle them in a very slow but very careful very methodical motion as they begin to get faster and faster and faster as they slow as they quickly begin to be moving in a blur like motion where you are uncertain how many knives there even are anymore they spin faster and faster until it is a until the motion of the knives uh you can barely even notice her own hands moving as the knives become one perfect circle as it seems the knives can't get any faster from above the stage on a trapeze wire hung directly above everything else comes in a dwarven man as he swings at the very top 
and grabs exactly one knife out of it. You can see him fly off with it, but it doesn't stop the speed of it. The ring still looks perfect in its speed. She begins to slightly adjust the angle of her of the knives as if they were to start as if you could imagine they would start falling but they don't they simply turn into a wider shape they are now being thrown into the shape of a triangle still keeping the same almost perfect blur motion as it goes as this continues the dwarven man hold, sta now standing at the top of the stage and keeping full attention keeping full attention to the crowd addresses them all they give a quick signifying holler to seeing him at the top as he begins uh, as he plot as he comes down the trapeze on a as he comes down from the trapeze one more time before disappearing behind the stage ultimately not to be seen again leaving sign by herself on the stage. But, this is only but for a moment, as a, as a ring of fire begins appearing around the back half of where sign is standing. Ultimately, she quit makes a quick tumble backwards through the flames before they close around her, and you hear what you would think would be the clattering of the knives, only to have sign disappear as the flames die down, and what stands before is the fl as is the skull with seven knives perfectly stuck into the, stuck into the space, regardless of where they were in the triangle as they traveled before. As the flames completely die and the smoke rises before it. This, to the common folk who've seen the show before, would be known as the finale, the end. As a fire genasi woman appears directly from underneath the stage, in what looks like a pillar of fire as she appears upward around her. Her twin flaming scimitars move in the motion of looks like of a flawless dance. She begins to move as the flames move back and forth as she dances around the skull that still sits on the stage. Her movements become more rhythmic in pattern. They become more mesmerizing, almost as if there's more of her to be seen. And then for a moment you see it, a second one same person. A third. She continues to dance around the stage. These, these other two figures begin to move in closer. And closer. And closer. Ultimately, so they are almost next to each other. Their tandem movements bringing together this beautiful harmony only to have the sound quiet down entirely. Almost to the point where it is ha not hard to breathe, but mesmerizing. Where sound of any kind would be would do it would do it nothing but absolute dis uh, disservice to have it any other way. Her motions begin to continue to blur, where you're not certain which one was the original and which seem to be potential illusions as they move across the stage. Skipping and hitting the ground, creating small little sparks. I'm gonna switch back over to the Discord. But still holding that same knife. And points it downward, aiming toward what looks like a space between all three of them. Which is to say, the skull. In this moment, he takes a moment to breathe in before jumping off 
and aiming straight for and as he reaches the, as he reaches the top of his throat jump of top of his jump knife center downward before catching a trapeze that came comes out of nowhere that no one sees rolling from the audience up onto the stage grabs it flings off and slot and swings above the entire audience the loud a loud applause of ooze as it goes as he travels across the entire stage once again as he travels across the entire stage up to the middle before returning to the center right above where that tiny tiny little object is plot and swing as he lets go and falls straight forward and as it will look like certain immediate death on impact as he falls 15 feet from the top of the stage. There is no sound of crashing. There is no sound of anything. Just pure silence. As he ultimately, as he hits the ground, a small ring of smoke appears and leaves behind a trail. The woman, the three women on stage, turn their blades outward before one by one, all three of them disappear from sight. And left in the center of the stage, you see Sign still standing there, not confused, not bewildered, holding but one single dagger in the dead center of the skull. All seven before, gone. Before the lights turn out, and she disappears. The crowd goes into applause. And the lights for the house turn on. What do you all do? Uh, can uh, can I just like jump up and just start like shoving my phone finger in the air and going like woo? Absolutely, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Loud doing that. And I'm making sure. Like, my side number one fan is, like, front and center so she can see it if she sees it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There is there is no doubt in your mind that being this close and being as prominent as it is, she definitely saw it. Can I, like, nudge Omar and be like, get up! Like, let her see the sign! I'm just... I, I just raise it slightly higher, still sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, the, as the house lights come up, uh, you see... Origi you see the dwarven man come from behind the stage, followed all. I'm saying followed also by the the fire genasi woman, and fine as they both step to the side. Hmm? So you want to say something? Someone want to say something? I wasn't saying no. anything. No. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, both of them step to the side. And let one final person onto the stage. It is Sign herself. All three of them take hands and give a bow and and stand there as a few of the audience members throw roses onto the stage. But mainly, you can tell that Sign's looking at you, Sasha. Yes. <laughs> and she gives I you go a ahead smile. Slip out, by the way, I just slip out before the crowd goes He's, through. Okay. Cool. As as the um, as they're all giving roses onto the stage, the the group uh, give one final bow together, and as they do, a roaring set of smoke lights and basically what are equivalency <laughs> to like small retrograde fireworks uh, go off onto the stage altogether as a last minute, but completely and utterly planned to excite the whole crowd when they all think it's over <laughs> it never truly is to have the three of them disappear 
entirely off stage in the flash. The the man behind the man who originally introduced the show comes appears once again on stage and says, "Thank you ladies and gentlemen for this evening. This has been our grand show for this evening. Thank you for coming, and we hope to see you all again very soon. And people be people cheer, people go, people uh, give their their applause, their their woos, their cheers, and people begin to slowly move their way out and make their way out of the out of the show. The man can use to stand on stage. Uh, can I, like, get up and, like, stretch a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just, like, walk around and just do, like, a little motion over here. Just stretch. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So, Omar, what do you want to do since we're still inside the theater before I go... Uh, I'm gonna just do the same as Sasha, and I'm just gonna step over to the side and stretch. Okay. Cool. After sitting down for so long. All right. Elias, you decide to leave the building. Yes, I do. You ca do you care to explain why? Because I have some stuff to do before we need to go to sleep. Um, like I have two water skins that need to be filled, so I try to find a creek or a well of some sort. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've got one or anything. Oh, there's certainly one in town. Okay, so but... I go there and I try to fill those up. You do so without any issue. No one stops you. It's a free open well. All right. And then I head towards the outskirts of town because I don't want to freak anybody out before mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I cast Cure Wounds on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Whispers under his breath. I'm going back for that goblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> oh. You kind of make me want to do like, it. You kind of make me want to do it, though. <laughs> but no, no, no. I don't. I don't do it. I don't do. It. I learned my lesson. My God, my God taught me better. You better. You, you better. better have learned your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but but I do do something while I'm out there at the mm -hmm. outskirts of town. I try to try to hunt some sort of small animal of some sort. Okay. <laughs> you're you're able to do this with no honestly no consequence, but let's see what kind <laughs> of animal you get. Um roll me a survival check. Alright. It's a whole bear. <laughs> <laughs> 14, and then where is my thingy? Fourteen plus two, so I got a sixteen. All right. Uh, what exactly kind of uh, game are you looking for? I'm looking for an offering slash a tribute to my god. Oh my so, god. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. The bigger, the more dangerous, the better, but <laughs> only if okay, I can okay. like, that, like, satisfyingly kill it and not like kill myself again. <laughs> only okay. the oh best god. for his god. <laughs> only the best. How to bring um, tribute. You you think Hmm. You're able to find as you're as you're sneaking about, and it is easily into the night at this point. You happen to come across very luckily. Oh, are you there? Did I lose are you everybody? There? No, no, no. Okay, he, you guys he froze. Okay, okay. I thought it was my internet. Oh god. No, but says. Oh no. Are you back, Rag? No, we didn't. We didn't catch I... any of that. Oh no! Really? Oh, yeah, you froze for um... like six seconds. Oh, okay. Um, I I I said that um. That that you come across luckily a sleeping boar, thinking, yeah. man, tusks are teeth. My god loves teeth. Oh god. <laughs> and the rest of its corpse. 
<laughs> pretty much. And you happen to find it asleep as it is past, long past into the evening at this point. All right, beautiful. Um, do I have to do any sort of roll to try to butcher it after I kill it? Not really. I'm, okay. I'm just gonna let that free. I'm gonna let that free form. Okay. Yeah. That Especially because it's an animal. Yeah. Then I'll skin it and I'll uh, separate its meat into different chunks and stuff, and I'm gonna take it back to the inn. That's gonna take you a few, a, a, a few minutes to do. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> you managed to do it. You managed Sweet. to do it. All right, then I head back to the inn, so. Okay. So, in that time frame, before we move back to the inn, uh, Sasha and Omar, is there anything else you wish to do at so, the theater? So, in quarters is in the theater. Yes, it is. That's why we're going back to you, too. Um, can I check to see, like, see if, like, the people we intimidated a few sessions ago has left any message for me or and given me any type of notification? You can, you can make probably good certain that it's not been long enough for that kind of information to come back. That you are looking for a very specific individual without really knowing where they are. It's just like, hey, you happen to find this person? Let me know. Can I look around the room and see if they're there? Because I feel like in, in terms of my character, she would constantly be on edge. If okay. as much as she likes to joke with Omar and like, you know, like rooting for sign. I still feel like she's still in her gut is very much cold and hearted and she definitely still wants to look out for her. I see I see. Um then you can give me a perception check. Okay. Um and then uh it's a plus five, so I got an unnatural twenty. Beautiful. Um you can tell that in the hideout place that you found them, uh, they're not here currently. You have an idea either that they are out currently looking for that information, or that they decided to book it and leave town sort of situation. Okay. But from the role that you gained, you have a much better insight to the situation from what you could find around like it looks like if personal belongings were still here which they would inherently could be uh they would still be here it doesn't look like it was ransacked and left okay so you have so a good like intuition coming back. yes at some point maybe not maybe not for like a day or two but certainly do are out looking for your request is the there moment. like a public library or a bookstore or something of that nature that's still open or a general goods store that I could walk mm. into and purchase an item? Not at this time of night. It is closer okay. to 1130 at night at this point. Okay. So I, I can't see that you can't you can't imagine that um, that the you can't imagine that the that any general store or bookstore would be open at this era. Okay. Okay, well then with that I probably would head back to the, the actual like um stage area to go up mm -hmm, to like mm -hmm. my sleeping quarters and kind of just start like settling everything down and like organizing my space. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. Understood. Totally, totally, absolutely. So you, uh, I'm saying, you go behind stage, and you see a sign, uh, currently, uh, you see sign kind of lounging out on one of the backstage couches, uh, in the sense that it's just like, it's a show, all of the tension is finally released, and she can just kind of relax for a moment. And you see her currently having a, the end of a com tail end of a conversation with the fire genasi woman. Before the fire genasi woman kind of gives her a little wave as she sees you coming, and kind of a little bit wave to to sign of like see you later, and kind of just walks off to what is basically her her room down the hall. 
leaving you and Sign and potentially Omar if he wishes to come behind stage again. No, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just go back to our inn. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were yeah. sleeping here as well. Oh, wait. Are we sleeping? Yeah, now? you are. I thought wait, you okay, and Sasha yeah, no, were mind. sleeping at the theater tonight. Never you I'll never follow. got an yeah. inn. We never got an in. That's right. I forgot. No, no you, yeah, you two didn't yeah, pay for staying. rooms. Uh, we were too busy busting down doors. I forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, you can go. <laughs> you can go get a room and in if you prefer. Dane, do you and Sign want your alone time? <laughs> <laughs> we don't I like know yet. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> rolled high enough for this. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'll just stay silent in the corner. It's okay. <laughs> You'll be like that. Oh no! Like third person. Oh. I was told I was told I could sleep here. <laughs> I was told I could. <laughs> God, I was say something really, really bad. I mean, we're all Do thinking it. it. I know. No, 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 no. I don't think y'all were thinking what I was thinking. I mean, you could mute yourself in, uh, you know, on stream and then say it. <laughs> you could always nah. do that. Nah. Well, like, the, the joke is that. Can I just like look at him and be like, come on, dude? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me, come on, like I should go somewhere else? No, like, you should be like, <laughs> come I on, dude, we need our alone time. Here. And I'm like, I'm just like, oh, I told, I was told I could sleep. I just, I just walk with you. That. You're like, I'm like, dude, come on. And you're like, yeah, I, I'm going to sleep here. Someone told me I could. I just lay down on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Back down the middle, right up front. Oh my gosh! New play, Sleeping Beauty. Can I? Like <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. You're just, it's it's just a twelve-hour production of you being on stage. Now, do you sleep with your eyes anything. open? Is that why you're <laughs> crying all the time? No, my eyes would be so dehydrated if that what happened. The, I'm, I'm just <laughs> thinking about that pic that uh, Ragnar like uploaded on the the server. Of your eyes. Oh my gosh! It's beautiful. Can I like wave to her and be like? Like, how are you doing? I was like, she's full. She's fully aware that you're 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 there, and um, she she basically was like, so how'd you like the show? I, I see that, and she points finger. to the sign. I see you got what was requested. I just think he should start selling these commercially. I mean, everyone should have one. Now you see, I can agree with that entirely. <laughs> can I just like look at Omar and be like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Omar just silently stands there. Because he's just like on the floor and like, like adjacent from us. <laughs> Omar looks at sign and tries to get a message of where are we sleeping tonight? <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if she can pick up on that. She's relatively good at that. She's the only one that seems she, she to have She gets enough me of the hint. She gets enough <laughs> of the hint. She gets enough of the hint. She kind of just gestures you off uh, to like one, like she rescues you off to like a door. It has like the number seven on it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just slip into there and let them have the talking time. <laughs> <laughs> I just peek uh, out the door and be like, bring nobody else into this room. And I close. <laughs> bring nobody else into this room. Oh my. All right. So, is that just the two of you left alone? Did you get and sign turns to you and goes, "So, huh? We're tra I guess we're traveling tomorrow, huh?" But I do like. Can I like play cool? But like on the inside, I'm kind of like squealing, like, "Oh, like I didn't know you were gonna take me up on that offer." But on the inside, I'm like, "Oh my god, she's caught me! Oh my god, I cannot believe it!" I did promise that if you managed to get the show back on its back on its feet, and honestly, that was one of the better performances I've ever had in this troupe since I joined it, that I would talk to I would talk to the man in charge and see if he can give me a, a few days off, maybe a week. And he said after a show like that, I deserved a little break. It was fantastic. Now I do have to ask, I think are you he, prepared I think... for what we could come across? Captain, you froze. 
Is he frozen for anyone else? Yeah. Yeah, he's frozen. Okay. So make sure it wasn't uh, me. Uh, uh, oh. Mm -hmm. I can hear everyone just flying. Why am I constantly frozen? Uh, yeah, oh, uh now you're frozen you know, again. How am oh, I? Wow. Okay, hold on. I've been zoning hold out. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, okay. chat. <laughs> oh, right. No, your stream. Uh, error. I was taking notes on my warlock. <laughs> is that is that helping anyone here now? Um, yeah, you sound better. Stream. You sound better, but your stream isn't going. Yeah, your stream is a little laggy. Ah. Up. Darn it! Come on. Are you dropping oh. frames or anything, or? Well, it just said my- well, my stream just said I died, so... Oh no. Oh no. Uh, well, it says that you're uh, at an ad for me. Yeah, it's- oh, it's moving okay. a little bit smoother now, and the ad is actually loading, so... It's not for me. What? It says you're no longer online. Oh, you need to press the button to restart it, I think. I did. I just refreshed mm -hmm. it. Hmm. Oh yeah, now I'm stuck on a black screen saying stick around to support the stream after the ad break. Yep. Great. Okay, my 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 overall one just says I'm I'm currently dead. Why does it hate D and D so oh, much? No. OBS. Why is, is it? Just why my is enemy. my stream? It, it's just my enemy right now. So join the club. It still says I'm streaming. I I mean I can see it like. Nothing says you're streaming on my end. Yeah, it, it lies. Yeah, it lies, Ragna. It lies. Yeah, it's no, it, no. it did not work. <laughs> yeah, like I'm. There is no to, stream like, currently. Right yeah, it literally says I'm. It says I'm currently dead. Uh, fine. Can you at least hear me now, though? Yeah, we yeah. can hear you. You could always record it and add it to the end of the VOD. Yeah, I don't want it. Uh, I hate doing that. Why can't Trust my computer me, I'm, just... I'm right there with you. I'm like, maybe I need to become a YouTuber at this point. <laughs> now I... I'm, I'm already I'm both. Sure. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> All right. I'm editing at least an hour a day, uh, an hour a day so... I am I'm just getting bothered because it works just fine with everything else. It just it really really I think my computer just processes world 20 like it's a like it's non-existent. Uh I don't think it'll work. Okay. I'm just going to uh yeah, it just says I'm entirely offline. Great. Okay. So we're going to I'm going to stop and start again and see if it works. Okay. Yeah, just let us know if you need to restart your computer or anything. Also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This just happened like before I was this happened while I was eating with my family, but I might not go to Washington So I might I might what's it called? Also, just be able to do normal times if you guys if like issues keep persisting to happen and stuff Hmm What is normal times for you? What do you mean by no, that? No, 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 like the normal time that we usually do D&D at Oh, okay. I didn't realize that that was ever um, I think up for I debate or whatever Okay, hold on. I no, I'm just OBS throwing it out because uh, I, I think the whole reason we did it earlier this week was because I was going to Washington. Oh, yes. no. it was that. Well, it was two I had a wedding. I had a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you have a wedding tomorrow too? Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's not my yeah. wedding. I promise. Well, yeah. oh, dang, you're getting. Let's make it a double wedding. Oh. <laughs> I'm just restarting OBS, hoping that it, it doesn't full auto crash. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Like this, I my like clear, for you. Like clearly Discord's working, so like why would OBS not be working? It's like internet connectivity problems, maybe. That's what I've been dealing with. <laughs> I've been thinking it. No, see my internet seems to be just fine today, which is a miracle. Well, it's like while your speed might be the full speed that you're paying for, the actual connection is unstable, so you're dropping frames, mm. so it makes the stream like drop and stuff. I did like a lot of research on this, so. <laughs> that, that is fair. Let's see. Um, uh, well, just you're dropped out of roll 20. <laughs> Jesus. I, I forgot how many, how much notes went into this into my character 
Because I have Warlock, and then I have my sub-Warlock category, and then I have my... My race, and then my race subcategory, and then I have my background. <laughs> that sounds right. exhausting. I would forget all of that. Well, it also doesn't help that the my race is has multiple different versions depending on which book. So I'm like asking Captain, "Hey, am I a monster or am I a being?" <laughs> I think we went with the monster one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it can get confusing. I'm already confused. I'm thinking about what I need to do when I level up, and I'm super confused already. Well, I don't know about you, but I get invocations, and I don't know what that is. I get, um, what is it called? Infusions. Artificer infusions, whatever the hell that means. I think... I go spinny spin sword sword burr. <laughs> no, that that one's pretty easy to remember. <laughs> I get red in the face never sign comes along. <laughs> That's your level two unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> and just a blush. You unlock emotions. <laughs> yeah, emotions <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Ragna just dropped from the chat, so his computer might have restarted. I mean, that's... Maybe what's best. Yeah, probably. I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Thank God. My internet just fully crapped out. Hello. Oh, that no sucks. Yeah. Uh. Captain? Yes? Can I ask you to help me... Level up Julie or rebuild her this weekend? Yes. And I have been reading your other messages, yes. I figured, because that's what I just talked about with them. Yeah. All the main right, category let's... and then the subcategories, and then it doesn't help that all these different categories have different level ups at different levels, and just like, what the <laughs> hell is happening? This is why I think you're getting very, 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 very confused. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I had a feeling. Specifically in the sense that, uh, to answer your question directly, you're looking at Volos, not the Monster Manual. I thought so! Yeah, the Monster Manual was created about maybe two and a half years before A's and Mars were playable. So I figured it was, um... I figured it was that one because it actually gave, like, a physical description of them. Yes. All right. So, so I'm Volos try and not thing. Dungeon Master. Okay. I think. I think I should be up and going again. There we go. I'm up and live again. Let's see how nice. well this works. Okay. So, I am very upset by that. Did that happen that way? I'm back. Did your computer restart? Uh, it was my internet just full on died. Ah, that explains oh. everything. Hopefully it'll be better then once it's, uh, you know, fixed. Yeah, it, it's been having that issue a lot recently. And I cannot, <laughs> for the life of me, figure out why. Why it does that and not... Why it does that around this time all the time. Makes no sense to me. And drives me nuts. Okay. We're back. I'm, I'm trying to figure out a method to, like, fix this problem forever when it comes to this and cuz i have cuz the i pretty much the only things i have open are the basic things i use to run the stream and i all and i keep open uh two tabs of uh two tabs of roll 20 what entirely because um the two, the two reasons why i have to keep them open is because uh one is my screen uh, to let me change things in the background when it's not paying attention, and one is the visual screen that physically is seen, so I know what you guys are seeing is what you're supposed to be seeing. Yeah, it's kind of required then. <laughs> yeah, um, so, and for some reason, uh, my computer hates the fact that I'm running two, 
uh, integrations of roll 20, the exact same integer. There, there is another plan I have to potentially fix it, and it might just be the fact that uh, it might be an overheating issue, but we're, that's just experimentation at this point to make sure to see if that works or not. And that'll be testing for, for, for next for next week. All right. Back to that. Uh, back uh, to where we were. So hmm? I feel like my character, like, she likes Sign, okay? But she, yes. d- she doesn't really trust anyone except Omar. Um, and I, I do think she still wants Sign to be aware of some of the person she's looking for, but she doesn't want to disclose who the person is. Mm. So I want to ask her, like, Hey, if you notice, how do you pronounce it? Tiefling, Tiefling? Tiefling. Tiefling. If you notice a Tiefling um, with a scar on his face going downward to like his collarbone, can you let me know? Um. Okay, is this like a person that uh we're trying you're trying to avoid like you if i see them in a crowd to tell you like hey don't go this way or is it a person like i see them in a crowd going hey they're over there let me pin them down so you can beat the shit out of them sort of situation pin him down so i can split his throat kind of reason oh that kind of person well that's certainly someone to keep uh huh Man, you must have made one angry... Either you made someone very, very angry, or... They made you incredibly pissed off. (laughs) Something like that. I just... I need you to be aware of them, but... For right now, that's all you need to know. I appreciate Mm. you coming with me, and I appreciate you. But this is just something I need you to keep an eye out for. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. I... I've... I've... Pick, I'm pretty good at picking up people in a crowd sort of situation. I kind of just nod at her and say, I really enjoyed your show, though. It's, it's like trying to lighten up the mood because I know like that was a very like instant change of demeanor where I was happy and I'm like, look out for him. But now I want to change the mood back to happy. Why, thank you. Um, to be blatantly honest with you, that, that little part at the end where I kind of am in the center of stage, that was new. That was just because, like, you gave him a nice marketing idea, so he thought he would, like, throw in the favor of, like, putting me at, like, the end of the performance. The the whole show is supposed to be, like, it ends with him jumping into the into the floor, with, making just a tiny ring of smoke, and then, like, all of the girls, and then, like, and then, like, the, the other girl disappears. So where did you learn all your acrobatics and knife-throwing skills? Oh, that's a, that's a very... That's a very valid question. Uh, it's kind of um, she kind of begins to rub her arm a bit. It's not, it's not something that you you pick up easily. As I, I think, think I understand. Really as I think you understand. I understand, and if you don't want to disclose it, I would be a hypocrite to press more. I I appreciate that. Uh, one day I I feel I feel I could be comfortable in saying that, but we just met. Yeah. And I completely understand, but for right now, I think I do need to get some rest. We do have a long day tomorrow. That's true. Um, I'm glad to. Yep. So, uh, all. Hmm. We said where are we headed again? Uh, Fell Moon. Uh, there is. A, a, a... Well, she was at the tavern, so she kind of overheard. Yeah, that's why she's just confirming to make sure. Yeah, we're going to Felmoon to check out why, um... Ah, Felmoon... Ah, Felmoon Draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know know the town. It's about uh, a two days travel up north. Have you been there before? Uh, only once before. It was sometime last year. I was more picking up a package sort of situation. I see. Mostly for the carnival. Gotcha. Do you know the mayor? Or have you seen him? Or have you heard of him? She kind of chuckles. Oh, everyone's seen the mayor. He's very boisterous about himself. Very open and talking to people all the time. He's very welcoming. I feel very warm when you talk to him. 
His family has been running that town for no oh, uh, generations now. So he's old money in a sense. Uh, old money, but good people. Gotcha. Okay. This gives me something to think about then. Do they have any ties, any magic, do you know? Almost oh, certainly. That town is loaded with magic. No, I mean, like, as are his parents, like, tied to, like, or do they practice magic? They may, they may have items of magical, for, like, like uh, properties, but do they practice magic? Almost oh, certainly. That whole, I'm saying, why, I'm saying, who better to run a wizard town than a wizard? I see. Okay. The whole, well, not the whole, whole family. Mainly, mainly it was him and his father that kind of, that kind of really dug into the place uh, and really took the magical roots. But I wouldn't be surprised if if he'd want to pass it down. Does he have any kids? Uh, I hear he has a I hear he has a few kids running around, but I don't really see them all that much. I assume they kind of just stay in the in the townhouse. Okay. He's a very you... public figure. Gotcha. And I feel like you would know this. Do you happen to know if there's any more? I'm trying to think of the proper word. Um, less bookkeeped areas, places that go kind of under the rug. Mm, not in Fell Moon, really. Okay. Not at least when I was there. I wasn't looking for trouble, so I'm not a hundred percent certain. But Just because obvious. you don't look for trouble doesn't mean doesn't find you, though. I, I know. That's why I said, like, if you were probably looking for it, something might come crawling its way through. Okay. But I know well, from a very blatant eye, it's not it's not shown to those of us who know. It's kind of a relatively clean town, albeit, say. Which is a breath of fresh air and why I kind of feel comfortable traveling between here and there. With that, can I give her, like, like a pat on the shoulder or, like, a nice, like, soft squeeze on the shoulder and walk to, like, my sleeping area? Yeah. Um, and it's like, she she accepts it with a, with a nice little nod. Uh, and then kind of turns and watches you walk off and before kind of just laying back down on the couch where she is and kind of begins to like just begins to hum a little a little tune to herself nothing nothing like striking a chord but just very very soothing does anyone wish to do anything else before we go before you go to sleep Yes. Okay. What would you like to do? So, when I return to the inn, is the innkeeper awake and out front? Or Let awake me... all? Well, the, the innkeeper is always awake. That's, what? that's a... <laughs> they, why would the innkeeper not be awake? This is kind of his place. Well, because somebody has, everybody has to sleep at some point. At some point or so, but... You see the place kind of pretty much be emptied out at this point. Um, and I'm just trying to have it load for a hot second. Come on, work for me. Thank you. And do, 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 do. And you come in and you just see him currently standing there at, I'm saying, finishing up the last few uh, bottles that are on. I'm saying last few bottles that are currently just sitting on shelves. You do see the barkeep. Okay, so he's he's standing there. He's finishing up. I can tell he's sort of closing now. Yeah, he's, cl he's closing up for the night. All right, well, I go up to him. Mm hmm And then I say, hey, closing time? Oh, yeah. 
Oh good, you were able to come back before I locked up for the night. Yeah, thank god I did. Speaking of, uh, since you're shutting down, do you mind if I use your kitchen, or is that mission? He I gives you the- he gives you a very strange Oddly. look. <laughs> and it's like, why would you want to use my kitchen? I'm just trying to prepare for our journey tomorrow, make some rations. Um, listen, <laughs> how about I cut you a deal? If you get up at, like, crack of dawn, and I'm down here, I'll let you use it. But that place is spotlessly clean right now, and I'm not cleaning it again. <laughs> I, I nod my head and say and it's, not that I don't, it's not that I don't trust you to not clean up but I'm very particular about my cleaning I nod my head so that's understood thank you for your consideration and I'll see you in the morning alright yep um, and if no one wishes to do anything else uh, uh, nope. can I do one thing Yes, I'm not jumping around. I'm not jumping on screens again, but yes. Um, so I feel like my character wants to get up because she has dark vision. All the lights are turned off. She just wants to look around, like the area, and just make sure there's no movement of any sort. Okay, give me a perception check because you do have dark vision. Um, I got a 19. Very nice. Um. Uh, you are certain there is nothing moving around in the place around you. Okay. It's very calm. With that, I think my girl can go to sleep then, like peacefully. Real quick. Uh, oh. Previous I turn, I'd asked, I'd casted cure wounds. I don't know if I need to roll something to. Oh, out how absolutely. Much I heal. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Yeah, let me get back to that. I was gonna say one more thing, one thing for Sasha. For the fact, that which room did you end up going into? The same room as Omar, or? So I went actually like in front of stage and I like was on the stage just looking around mm -hmm. just both at like the like top areas and the like entrances slash exits and just kind of looking at the seats to see if anybody was just lingering about because like oh. backstage I saw like you know Omar and Sign so I felt comfortable okay, but I yeah, wanted to no. see if anybody was out front was yeah you don't, you don't see anything but this okay. does bring us back to the question where I got cut off, um, because someone did ask this and I wanted to hear the answer. Omar, do you sleep with your eyes open? <laughs> Omar? Omar? No. I was muted. No, I said no, no, I do not. Oh, okay. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You sleep, you sleep like a relatively normal person. Got it, got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. You just speak with your eyes wide in volume when you're fully awake. Understood. Completely understandable. Got it. Um, but yes, Sasha, you're more than ample to notice that information. Um, that there is no one there and you feel that this is a relatively safe place to be. Okay. Now there was something that uh, was being said. Kaito, what was it you were saying again? Yeah, I casted cure wounds ah, when I yes, was, before cure. I killed the boar. <laughs> ah, yes, cure wounds. Let let us read together cure wounds. Let us read together the spell cure wounds because you will have to roll a dice for this. Yeah, do I wounds. have to roll a d twenty to see if I was successful first? No. Congratulations, you don't have ma healing magic is a blessing in this game. Oh, thank God. Okay, so uh, just a d eight. Basically, you will do you will roll a d8 and then add your spellcasting ability modifier. In this case, your intelligence. So I got a seven. Okay, and my modifier Intelli is intelligence modifier. Plus four, so I got eleven. Yeah. Yeah, you got eleven HP back. <laughs> well, I started with nine. Does that mean I end with nine or? Um, what's Do your max? Do I add? My, my max is nine and I have one right now. Uh, you, you go up to, you go up to nine. Okay. Okay. That's you, you heal up to your maximum. Just you one heal. double check. Yep. You heal up to your maximum. Um, and with that, perfect. Yes. So when it comes to healing, you don't have, it, it's not a success fail. It's, it just happens. 
and you get to cast the magic to see how good the result is, uh, how good the magic is, magical healing is. That's healing awesome. magic is beautiful like that in D and D five E. Sweet. But uh, with that, the the night the night comes and rolls around, and you all get a nice long rest. Now, in this game, because this is our first long rest, for those of you who do not know, a long rest is a situation in which you get all of your spell slots back, your HP goes back to maximum, if you, it wasn't already. Yay. Um, you get any spell slots that you used back for the day, um, you get any skills you used that have, like, once per day, or once per short rest, or once per long rest return, so in this case, for, like, Omar Second Wind, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like you get those skills back. Um, so you are at peak condition after a nice long rest. And you all w wake up at different times in the sense. So who would wake up first? Probably me. Um, yeah, maybe. Because oh? I'm also waking up early, remember? Yes, I know, but it's like who wakes oh, hey, up? Hey, we might wake up at the same time. Hey. I, who, uh, who wakes, I wakes up first? went to bed first. <laughs> Well, I yes. mean, I guess it just depends. What time are you thinking about waking up? I wanted a full eight hours, so whatever time I went to bed, eight hours later. <laughs> it was like maybe... I'm gonna say, like, with the additional things that uh, were done, I'm gonna say probably you got up... I'm gonna say roughly you two actually do get up roughly the same amount of time. But that is because... That is because and only because you promised the barkeep you'd come downstairs to at the crack of dawn. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Which is roughly a comparison to time of when <laughs> Julie would have woken up. Like, the sun's just rising. And, like, the two of you would bump into each other in the hall sort of situation. Like, you open the door at the same time and it's like, oh! Hello there. <laughs> I just gasp when I fall onto my knees and say, God! <laughs> it's too early for this. I just you keep just walking. Walk <laughs> yeah, I knew. I was like, you just had to walk off. <laughs> but I, I just scramble after you, of course. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on all fours, just scrambling? No, I fell to my knees, like in a like a crouched mm -hmm. uh, sort mm -hmm. of kneeling pose. But yeah, now I'm now I'm scrambling to get up on all all twos, I guess. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> All right, at least you're gonna get the all twos. For all a second. twos. <laughs> I thought you for a single second you were going back to like the scramble, 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 scramble. AKA you're just you're you're just going <laughs> as you oh, chase God. back down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, similar but a little bit more dignified. Gr gr gremlin run. <laughs> gremlin, gremlin, gremlin run. Gremlin run. Uh, all right, so. Uh, the two of you, let me, let me get you both on the screen when it works, when it wants to work, because I know where you both are. Because I get to see everyone when I take you away from this, from the, from here. So I'm going to put Julie in first. Julie. And. There you are. Both of you are there. The bar is completely empty, except for, except for the barkeep, who is currently still there. How? Uh, what time in the morning is it? Five thirty. Nope, sorry, it's roughly it's spring, so it's actually six thirty in the morning. I'm following after you, so obviously you do whatever first. Would the barkeep have coffee? Would Julie know that? You can ask him. Oh god. Nothing stops you from asking him if he has coffee. I sit in my normal spot in the corner of the bar. He looks up at you and goes, Ah, morning. Morning. Okay. It's like, glad to see someone's up nice and early. Anything I can help you with? Do you happen to have any of, uh, any coffee? You know, the good dirty bean juice? He goes, I know this stuff. Let's see if it's fresh. Let's see if it's uh, ready yet. 
and he d does not expand. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not. You're real fat. <laughs> no, I hate when it does. <laughs> I, I've sort of come around to the side, by the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before he gets out, before he goes into the kitchen. Oh, yep. He'd be like, here then. Hey, hey, barkeep. I'm actually going back there anyways. Due to our conversation yesterday, you want me to grab some? Uh, just just follow me. All right, so I follow him. And actually, we get to move. I got to move you all over here a bit. Then welcome to the kitchen. While this is happening, uh, Julie's just sitting there waiting for the coffee. So she like pulls out her notebook and starts taking notes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So now we're actually here. If it wants to me to do this better. There you go. Thank you. So now you're there, and he goes. He points over. It's like the hearth is over there, ready and lit for you. Pots and pans are available pretty much anywhere. And he walks. Uh, he goes. I'll I'll handle the the coffee. <laughs> I kind of sigh because I wanted to get her the coffee, but I understand. <laughs> I don't say anything, and I go over to the hearth. <laughs> He, he goes and finds, like, what is... He goes over here to what looks as metal contraption. It is by no means the a standard electric coffee pot or even just a cast iron kettle, to be honest with you. It is this weird, like, rigmarole of just, like, weird... Of different, like, knobs and levers. Something that you actually might be familiar with, if anything. Uh, you say you might be, as in me, or yes. as in everybody? So if I look over, you, do you I, might, I recognize it? You might have some recogni recognition of, like, it is, like, a medieval version of what is a cold brew machine. <laughs> oh! Yeah, so, uh, uh, do I hear, like, any steaming or anything like that? Oh, absolutely. You hear the, the steams, the steaming, the pops, the whistles that would come from it. Because, again, it's a, a medieval version of it, but still, inherently, when put together, you, you would imagine it makes up what is a cold brew machine. But it's certainly a little strange to see something like that in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'm kind of go. stands there and watches it as it kind of like, like things begin funneling down different t little curly Q tubes into different chambers of the contraption. Okay. Now, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I go ahead and start the put the meat on like the heated pan while he uh, you know does that. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. It takes him about maybe a maybe two or three minutes before it's roughly back uh, to, to where it was before, uh, to where it would be when it officially would be like over and completely done. All right, well, I flipped the meat over because it's about two to three minutes, and that's accurate for yep, cooking. Per, per, yep. And he begins to take... He takes what is basically a, a one of the canteens and kind of fills it for one for himself and one for Julie because you know it's early, it's it's time to drink coffee. <laughs> and Dirty bean is... juice. Sure, <laughs> you see him just slowly walk back in. He goes, nice and well, not necessarily hot, but I think you'll like the taste. Coffee is coffee. If it keeps me awake, then it's doing its job. Well, hopefully it does the job then. And hands you one of that and goes... He goes one silver. Here you go. Which is a pricier than the average things that you've been dealt with in this place. Because mostly it's been copper, copper. And it's a little strange, but when you get a taste of it, you understand why. There's nothing better than a nice cup of coffee in the morning. I'm willing to pay the one silver. <laughs> he goes, now that's, a, now that's a healthy attitude. <laughs> and he takes the silver and begins to drink. He begins to take a sip of his own mug. <laughs> uh, in that with that being the case, um, 
I assume your meat's almost done. Yeah, I also, while, like, it's cooking, I, of course, season it with some salt and pepper, and I also, while it's finishing up, I go over to the coffee machine slash medieval contraption to see what it's all about, because I'm obviously very curious. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can give me either a perception check if you're just going to look at it, or an investigation check if you wish to try to touch a bit of it and ch figure out how it works. Can I do both? Because yes. both of it. <laughs> I have both good. Okay. Yes, you can. Just tell me which one's which. Uh, this is going to be investigation 17 plus 4, so a natural 21. All right. Uh, you are able to tell exactly uh, that this is definitely uh, just a multi- it's a multi-stage chamber device that, uh, inherently does the active mechanics that would make cold brew coffee. You don't understand how it physically is working in this kind of setting, especially with the fact that it is pretty much sitting on top of what is, like, a makeshift fire. And yet somehow it is running without, like, electricity. Like, it is able to get hot enough, but not, like, burn the machine or burn the parts. Or, like, over... Or, like, somehow keep it, you know, like... Like, hotter than it should be. Explains why the coffee is, like, not too, too hot, yeah. Exactly. So, it is exa it is It is definitely just a cold brew coffee machine. All right, so then I'm gonna run my perception check. Oof! <laughs> Plus four, so it's a five. <laughs> you get distracted. Oh. I get distracted by the meat. I'm too worried about burning you, it. <laughs> you, you, you are. Yeah, no, no. It's actually quite the opposite. You are very invested in looking at this device and figuring oh, no. out how oh, it works. No. Uh, that eventually one of the sizzling pops from it breaks your concentration you get a single sniff in the air and you turn back as you see black billowing smoke coming up from the pan oh, no. from which you were cooking behind <laughs> you I ultimately course... knowing full well maybe maybe I can save it I of course run over there I grab the pot um it's not an oil fire so nope. I see if there's anywhere any water in the kitchen is there any water it is in the boiling pot next to you, <laughs> and also, the, <laughs> and also the trough sink that is about across way uh, across the room, roughly here. Okay, I pour a little bit of boiling water on top of it. Hmm. I see. I see. I see. Let me just scroll to you real fast. Is it is it a grease fire or is it a no regular? no no, no, it's, no it's nothing's not. nothing. It's just the fact that it's burning. It's burning. <laughs> okay. Like, it, it's it's, it's, it's burning. Oh, but, he burnt. He burnt. He burnt the food. Oh. <laughs> he burnt it. My Did I successfully put the fire out? Hmm? My chat's Did I laughing. successfully put the fire out? Yes, you get. You managed to get the fire out, but you do realize that it's 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 definitely charcoal it's now. Oh. <laughs> it's soggy and charcoal. Oh no. Are, now here's the true question: Are the bones charcoal, or is it just the meat? <laughs> just the meat. Okay, so I. <laughs> Drain the water into the trough. I go over to a cutting board. I grab a knife and I scrape the meat off the bones as clean as I can get it. I don't care how long it takes me. I make it as clean as possible. <laughs> I'm not because you said you were taking time. I am not gonna make. I'm not gonna make your roll for that. <laughs> I am making sure my tribute is successful. Okay. <laughs> bones. Yes, bones. All right, there is now this very overcooked, <laughs> very burnt meat just sitting on one of the the cutting table on the on the cutting boards. All right, as well, you have I... pristine, as you have what is it, what type of what part of the meat were you trying to cook? Well, remember I chopped up the entire boar, so I cooked yes. every piece of the boar. Oh, so you were cooking everything? Oh wow! Oh, I was cooking everything. I mean, I need the I need the rations. Now, I meant like the question. The real question is, how did you prepare the head? Okay, no, I let, I let, I grabbed, okay, yeah, so we're backtracking a little bit. I grabbed the eyeballs out of the head. I figured maybe she likes eyeballs, and I left the rest of the head there, because she mm. might like skulls, but that's probably going to get a little heavy, so I left it. Oh, <laughs> my God. 
The being that you now call God has shown you that they have interest in random assorted objects, such as to <laughs> toes, <laughs> fingers, and teeth. And this eyeballs. Is all you know. <laughs> I don't and have eyeballs. any toes! I know. I just have Not some yet. bones Soon and you will. Soon you'll have hooves. Oh, gosh. <laughs> With me on your side, you'll get all of the body parts. Captain. <laughs> Captain. Yes. Tiffany. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> we'll get to Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany will come one day. Yay! <laughs> you ha you've given me all of like two hours to play with Tiffany in my brain. <laughs> I don't even know what Tiffany is yet. <laughs> I'm very confused. I know. Trust me. So am I. <laughs> I am as confused as you are. Basically, my sister Osa plays D and D, and she gave me an idea. <laughs> That's amazing. So. With that being said, <laughs> um, you have the bones. What do you do now? Well, I take the spoiled meat and I still put it in, like, it, does he have any sort of, like, storage device, like, disposable, any, like, plastic, obviously it's not going to be plastic bags, but I'm going to look for plastic bags because that's where I came from. I'm going to look for anything that I can put this ruined meat into because it's still sort of edible. Give me a perception check. All right. Just to see what you find around the room. Six plus four, so it's a ten. Okay. Um, well, the good news is you find something. Bad news is it's this stone garbage can right here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't exactly cart that around with me. <laughs> no, no, you can't. All right, so I pull in Napoleon Dy Dynamite and I put it in my pockets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you now have this in your pockets. I got some ruined meat in my pocket. You guys, have, you guys have ruined, but very, very definitely cooked meat. It's certainly cooked. In fact, it's overcooked. Pocket by a lot. Meat. <laughs> Pocket meat. Oh, dear. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, so, do you wish to do anything else before we head on over to the rest of the party? Uh, I just come back and I sit. I sit exactly next to Julie, and I know I probably make her uncomfortable, but I'm too delusional to care or notice. <laughs> <laughs> too delusional to care or notice. Understandable. Uh, all right. So, as as the two of you continue, prob most likely waiting for your companions. Can I take a ask Oswald yes. something? Of course. So I, I'll look up to Oswald and be like, I have two questions for you. One, mm -hmm. um, when do people usually start rolling in? Rolling into town? Rolling into the bar. Oh. Uh, about an hour from now. No one's an early drinker. Um, second question? Do people usually gamble here? Not necessarily. It's, okay, I'm just curious. People play cards, but it's within their own their own little circle. Small change, nothing nothing ever big. Okay, just wanted to ask. He's like certainly a certainly a person who seems to have a lot of interest in other people's businesses. That's for certain, though. Hmm. You seem to certainly ha be uh have you certainly seem to have interest in other people's. How do I say schedules? Well, I would like to know where the people are if I were to ever have questions. That's fair. Well, this is usually the place to be. It's not very early in the morning. Yeah, um, it wasn't really my plan to wake up this early. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So, we're going to move on. Let's end real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what so you guys, this convo is over, Julie. What? Your convo is over. You're not asking him anything more. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so I just slide over the bones to you and say, "For you." <laughs> 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 then I uh, I turn to Oswald. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I turn mm -hmm. to Oswald and say, "Is the dwarf from yesterday still here?" Oh, Barrison, absolutely, he's here. Do you happen to know about when he wakes up? Well, I'd say a man who just survived uh, 
some severe hypothermia is, is welcome to wake up whenever he wants. I just nod my head and say, thank you. Of course. And I just look at Julie, and that's it. <laughs> and with Sorry. that, we move on over <laughs> to the theater. Where we find the waking up, uh, where, we, where we find the other two waking up. Ultimately getting ready for the day. Now, who wakes up first between the two of you? I'm very curious. So, she does. It's actually me, because I, I wake him up. There you go. Fair enough. I'm picturing Sasha waking up like a normal human being, except she's a, a dark elf, and then just, like, kicking Omar and being like, wake up! Actually, very nice to Omar, okay? <laughs> like, like <laughs> he and I have a bond. Like, I'm not mean to him. I'm just mean <laughs> to the world. You're just mean <laughs> to the world. I treat him with more respect than I treat anybody else, which is nothing. So I treat him with a little respect. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I shook. I kind of just like shake him awake, like with one hand. I'm like, get up! <clears throat> don't Omar opens his eyes. <laughs> Do I say that you're tired? Yeah. <laughs> you can see, you can see that I still haven't gotten enough rest. I'm like, I want to go back to sleep. You're like, I woke up again. <laughs> I woke up again. <laughs> That's a morbid way to look at oh, it. <laughs> yeah. Not the rabbits. <laughs> um, so I feel like for me, I have some shopping I have to do before we set off, but I want to see a sign there and just say like, hey, like, yep. like there. meet at the end. Because I feel like that's where we would meet the other two. She goes, understood. I'm going to pack my last few things and I'll meet you there before she ultimately begins to set off and disappear to leave you two to get ready as well. Omar, do you want to follow me to the store or are you going to do your own thing? Uh, I'll follow you to the store. Okay. Um, I want to try and find like a general store or like a bookkeeping store. Okay. Uh, you're able... You're able to find with no hesitation, no issue, no problems. Um... You're able to find at least a general store. A bookkeeping store, maybe not so much, but definitely. Distraction! Huh? Sorry, what was that for? What? I, I didn't hear your question you just asked. I, I didn't ask. Oh. I just said distraction. Uh, distraction. <laughs> um, it's a very good distraction. Um, <laughs> with that being said, uh, oh dear, hold on. I feel like something is, I feel like something is terribly amiss. Hold on, I'm just gonna start doing a thing real fast. Give me a second. My apologies. I need to do, need to do something else. Oh dear. Oh, great. Now OBS is crashing again. Great. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, that that wasn't a problem. Phew. That was just OBS trying to, to me to solve an issue, and it was not solving. Because, oh boy, is that um, causing me some, some trouble and nightmares. All right. Um, okay, uh... So yes, you're able to find a general good store. Um, it's run by what looks like a, a half elven man, kind of in his late fifties, widow's peak, a pair of spectacles running across the edge of his nose, and just, "Hello, how can I help you?" Uh, I walk up and say hi, like I'm looking for a specific type of book. Um, uh, it's specifically a joke type of book. But not to uh -oh. make one laugh, but to make one fall in love with you. He he over he goes like I have the excuse me what? <laughs> so it's gonna like it's gonna <clears throat> contain jokes that will make them laugh, but it'll also make them think, wow, this person, I think I could grow old with them, 
And I think I might want to settle down with them and raise a small dog and maybe even a cat. <laughs> you know what? Can Omar give an example and s like Riz stare down the shop? Oh good god. <laughs> Are you trying to be? Omar. Are you trying to make this person fall in love with you? Or are you trying? Yeah, exactly. To... That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, give me a performance check, Omar. Performance check. Okay. Because you're trying to speak with your eyes. I got 14. Well, he he goes. I'm not slam. certain exactly what you're trying to look for, um, sir. <laughs> do you mind um I think I get the gist but I'm not really certain this is the place you could find something of that assertiveness do you know where I could find something like this do you have like a library or <laughs> um not necessarily in uh in this town I I, I hate to inform you uh this town is not, um, not necessarily the answer that you're looking for. <laughs> no. This is not the droids. Droids. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was... This is not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> I never and seen yet, Star Wars. I was just saying, Nene has still <laughs> never seen any of them. Oh my oh, god. How do you know the quotes without ever seeing it? The internet. Memes. <laughs> <laughs> no, nay, nay. Come on. Have so they never... don't have like. At least I've seen all Black the Harry Rock. Potters. Mm, Unlike some no. people. No, nay, no. Star Wars first. Star Wars first. <laughs> then Lord of the Rings. Then Harry Potter. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen, seen, I haven't Lord, seen Lord, of Lord of the Rings, Rings. either. <laughs> what is wrong with both of you? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. We're getting to them. I have one movie. I can only go one movie at a time. I was recently yeah. just showing Always Sunset on 3rd Street, one of my favorite Japanese movies of all time. I We're keep forgetting getting... that's what it's called. Yes! <laughs> it's a Don't beautiful movie. I made the link to that because I've never heard of it. It is a beautiful movie. It's actually a trilogy. Is it real life or is it animated? Real, real life, life and I own all three copies. Yeah, if you can send me the IMDB or something like that. So I I Sasha. <laughs> I will, yeah. I will, I will very much Star Wars first. It. Thank you, if you remember. <laughs> <sighs> so I looked at him and said, yes. so you don't have anything like a pickup line book or something that has like fun little pickup lines or anything of that era. I... Of that culture. Kaito. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> He's... Excuse me, uh, as I auto auto real quick. <laughs> Everyone, be quiet. Ada <laughs> ada. Hey. I tried. I tried. <laughs> it's been a while. That trend kind of died. Dude, I haven't done one in so long. Exactly. Why do you, sound like you, why do you sound like you smoked for fifty years just then? <laughs> <laughs> me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was oh, stretching, yeah. that's why. Ah. <laughs> you said, you're stretching, it sounded like all the all the air just came out of your lungs before you spoke. Because it partially was. Mm. Alright. Um I, I did I did look overall and he goes I'm sorry, but this, this isn't necessarily uh this isn't necessarily the the town to to look for it. Um, what is well, there's a there's a town up north known as Fell Moon Droft. That they're very well known for their literature and uh, things of their nature, especially their <laughs> grand library, which I'm certain would have lots of books in there of varying si varying that. types. All I know, all the here's the thing, sir. All I know are my horrible pickup lines and let me give you an example of one of why I desperately need a book today mm -hmm. you look kind of <laughs> ill you must be suffering from a lack of vitamin E which is me sounds like you don't need a book I was gonna say that you always had me then you said the E vitamin E which is me it would have been better if you said vitamin M 
Or how about this? Do you have any raisins? No? How about a date? Like, all I have are these cliche little pickup lines, but I need something to swoop a, a real nice lady off her feet. Huh. Well... Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Um, I got on a natural 24. Oh. He goes, Well, I do happen to be a writer myself, unpublished, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> I like look at Omar. I'm like, Where is this going? <laughs> and he gives you like this little coy smile. I was like, for the right price, I probably can give you my only written copy of a, of a romance novel I've been writing. I think the the lines in it are, could be of some help to you. How much? Oh, just one copper. Okay. Like he looks very right desperate at you to buy <laughs> this. I like look at my. I, I, before I hand it to him, I'm like, "Are you sure this will work? Like, will she? Will she like like me?" Well, I haven't tried. I haven't met a woman yet who ha <laughs> hasn't fallen in love with me for, for for the words written in this book. How many women have fallen in love with you? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't I tried about any women yet. I guess the first times <clears throat> for everything. I give I give him the copper, and I would like the book. And you, you, he does, he does bring out a very dusty book from under the counter, like he had it ready, sort of situation, and it is definitely, certainly something. I will, I will, I will send you a pic. I will have this in your journal for next session. Okay. I will send. I will send. I will give you a picture of whatever this very atrocious looking, <laughs> very uh, corny romance book is. Is there like like Fabian on the cover or something? Oh, it's it's more than just that. Oh my god! What did they buy? <laughs> you you see before you the Fabio esque kind of gentleman, but it's just several different pictures superimposed over each other uh, on the cover, and they're all him, but in <laughs> Fabio esque kind of style. <laughs> Omar snickers a little. <laughs> oh my god, I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can I just look at him and say, "You've got to be eh? kidding me!" Eh? He gives you like the biggest smile. Can I ever. look through the book and see like the content? Like, can I like finger through the pages real quick? Sure, go ahead. Can you give me an example of like the the content he's saying that's gonna work, or should I think of something? I. Oh no, I I'm I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking of what I could put in this book. Okay. Oh god. I didn't mean to put you in spots. Oh no, I'm just thinking of the worst, like my immortal level kind of nonsense. Oh my god. This what is god. what you purchased. <laughs> Keep this in mind. If it oh helps, my... I had to study the Kama Sutra for college. So what there's that. Or why? Human sexuality is a course. Oh, okay. Flowers! Like an English type of... And trash bags. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Tra All I heard is and trash bags. Trash bags. <laughs> That's My, mom, I heard bags. My mom just walked in and she gave me flowers and trash bags. Wow. Oh. Well, those are like certainly two bags. things that shouldn't be going together. Yeah, I'm streaming. <laughs> Where's Thursday? Yeah, it's um. early D&D. &D. Oh. So that, they smell yeah. good. Um, Very pretty. You are you are it's getting a sunflowers and roses. You're you're getting a uh, a very Maya mortal vibe from the words that are on this excerpt. I'll, I will get you an excerpt. I'll type you an excerpt up tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be in your okay. journal. You'll you'll be free to read it. Um, because I'm trying to I'm trying to get us a little farther. 
Okay. I'm trying not to keep us past the 11 o'clock if we can help it. Um, I can I just like look at him and say, well, I bought what, I mean, I got what I paid for, I guess. Uh, and I think you paid an even better bargain for it. Can I look at Omar and uh, I'm like, do you think this is gonna work? Omar avoids eye contact. No, man, look at me. Uh, here's like, the thing, <laughs> Omar, you're still keeping eye contact with the man. He gives a smile and you begin to notice that he's missing teeth. I <laughs> avoid eye contact from everyone now. I am no longer looking at the I'm man. Like, I'm... I'm like swatting at Omar. So I'm like, come on, man, look at me. Tell me. <laughs> Every time she goes to one side, I can look at the opposite. <laughs> Trying not to catch his glance either. <laughs> I like glare at the old man and say, if this doesn't work, I'm coming back here. Sell sales are final! He closes, <laughs> he disappears behind the counter. <laughs> Omar snickers a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna glare at Omar. <laughs> Omar's, Omar's looking in the opposite direction where you are laughing <laughs> while turned around. <laughs> Alright. You're, you're the worst wingman ever. <laughs> 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 Omar, Omar looks at you, but like you get the message that he's like, you're doing fine without the book either way. <laughs> okay, what is wizard saying? What is what? Not a wizard. He's in your chat. Oh, he, they're they're saying a natural twenty four. What kind of a dice are you rolling? Oh, it's because she has a plus four. That's why. I, so no, I understand that with the phrase natural twenty four. Yeah. You stink. <laughs> I, I know him. It's fine. <laughs> I know not a wizard. <laughs> huh. That, that that was from like a that was from a bit ago though. I've been switching in between. That's fine. It's fine. Mine's probably lagging a bit anyway. Either way, um, if there's, unless there's anything else, uh, you're not gonna be able to find. Unfortunately, there isn't necessarily a bookshop in town. This is unfortunately the best you're gonna find in this town. Yeah. Omar, if, there's, if there's anything he wants to do, we can do, but I'm fine with going back to the inn and meeting up with everybody. Yep, yeah, no, I'm going to meet up at the inn. Alright, um, all of you eventually make your way back to the inn, where you also see Sign, and you see, uh, you see the rest of the party as everyone is currently slowly gathering on their way there. And I'm just going to drag and drop people in again. Come on. Let's get you up there. Boop. Uh, so you two are, I, I put you at the front door and you already see sign kind of like in the same so seat that you kind of like roughly like close, a little closer to the bar, but like not, not as, um, not as immediately away from like the rest of the group because she knows you're traveling with all of you, and like they're all kind of uh, ready. They're all seem to be ready to go. You Can just I, like wait better. Like hi. She waves back. Um, and she kind of waves you to come on over. Uh, so that she can let you all, all four of you know the same thing at the same at once. I sent you something. Uh. Captain, oh. that could like fit in the book. Oh, I'm I'm gonna be messing with this later for certain. Uh, that could possibly be in the book, but okay. not in the place you'd think it would be, though. That's the best oh. part. Oh, oh, okay. I'll wait. I'm waiting. I, as I'm I said, ready. this is a th this is a book that is very poorly written. Oh, I'm so ready. I, I just need to, I just need to, it's, it's going to take me like, again, this is a tomorrow. Like I need to do the quick little, quick little, a quick little read in on terrible romance books. Quotes. That's, oh, that's what I need. Perfectly fine. That's what I, I need. So I can grab that <laughs> one together. Um, I have a perfect thing too. It's going to be great. I just need to be able to make it in a meme generator real fast. Oh God. All right. So, with that being said, um, as you, as you, if you two are going to make your way over, sign lets you know that uh, she was able to talk to. She was able to talk 
Yeah. Hello. You're able to talk to Oswald, Hi. and he's willing to let you use um, a cart uh, to make your way, if you wish, into Felmoon Draft. I'm sorry, what? Oswald. Oswald said, uh, we were messaging each says, other, so we kind of just like blanked. <laughs> oh, Oswald it, says, he wasn't really talking to us. Yeah, <laughs> from what I can tell. Mm, I see. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's known to you now that um, that you have a cart if you wish to have it. That could be useful, but we have nothing to pull the cart. Horses, a horse, a single horse is provided. Okay, that would be nice me, to have. Or you could put me and Omar up front. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Omar's okay with that. <laughs> Is Omar okay with that? You know, like Omar's fine with that. It. Yeah, that's not <laughs> Omar, <might> be. <laughs> The two of you. <laughs> but when you, uh, you can't tell Omar to stop, though, because the O-Train never stops. <laughs> How big is he walking <laughs> off of the carriage? <laughs> is this a cart or a carriage? It's like, a how cart. big is this? It's a cart. Do we know how long of a like a two days walking so like or one full... or walking? Okay, one uh, full. Mm -hmm. okay, go ahead, finish all. One full question. day and then like a half of a full, and like a, an extra half day before you like see the town. Okay. Um. And is there like mules like holding the cart or like yes. what is? Okay. Yes, a mule is <laughs> provided. Come, to you, then. A single mule is provided. All right, real quick, mule. before we go anywhere, because yes. obviously we're ending soon, did the dwarf from last night ever come down? Uh, no, he's still he's still asleep. Can we All go right. wake him up? Yeah, because Julie's waiting on a litter. Wow, mm. I'm surprised you guys remembered that. <laughs> I yep, you're more than we're welcome. Happy. You're more than welcome <laughs> to go upstairs uh, and then wake him up. Uh, Oswald has no problem telling which room he's in. I'm surprised he's letting us go wake him up. <laughs> yeah, he's been kind of standoffish about it. Yeah. I kinda, well, he didn't uh, want you waking him up at 6.30 in the well, morning. Well, uh, I mean, I wasn't asking. To, I just asked <laughs> if he was you know, going to be there. So I nudged Julia, I remind her about the dwarf and ask, what, what should we do? Do I have any, like, nice spells that I can use? Who just applaud? Okay. Alright. Maybe I could like um go up to his room and mm -hmm. just cast light on the on um like a pencil or something, a quill, and just wave okay. it in front of his face. <laughs> and he goes Uh, uh hello. <laughs> hello? Uh, hello. Hi. Remember me? Y yes. Why Why are you in my room? Well, we're leaving soon, and I was wondering if you had that letter so I can give to your brother. Oh! Oh, yes! He rubs his eyes. I, uh, mm, yes, he kind of gestures over to the nightstand. I, I spent a little time last night finishing it for you. Ugh. <sighs> Oh Freeze god, where, where are my notes? Do I have his name? Uh, what is his name? This man's I don't know. Baron. <laughs> Baron, Barrison Redwood. Yep. And his brother is Luke. Yeah, his his eldest brother is his eldest brother is Luke. Yes. Yep. And he goes, I I finished it last night. I didn't think you were. What time is it? probably an extra it's well definitely not six o'clock in the morning i'll tell you that i sure hope it's not <laughs> <laughs> i'd be honestly kind of upset if you woke me up that early i don't even get up that early from my shift can i like place down a a piece of silver and be like this is for coffee just in case it's still too early for you you know what that's fair Thank you kindly. No, and thank you for the letter. I wanted to make sure that your brother knew you sent me. Mm. Indeed, indeed. Well, safe travels then. Thank you. I hope you have uh, a quick recovery time. 
Uh, I can feel my fingers again. I think it's I think it's mm -hmm. passing pretty good. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it goes. I can feel my fingers again. I think time is passing pretty nicely. Good to hear. All right. Well, see you around. Oh, Jesus. And... Sorry, Phasmo sound. This. <laughs> <laughs> You mean that? Yep. You mean that? That I can just do my own voice? And that I have done to you before when I just entered the vo the VC I know, on your own I streams? I know, I don't like it. Especially when I'm playing <laughs> hardcore Minecraft. I know, that's why I stopped doing it all the time. I used to do it, I used to do it more frequently. Okay, um... So you all load into the cart? Um, unless someone else says something else they need to do. I'm assuming Julie grabbed the letter there. Yep. So, yeah. Yep, no. I just follow. Okay. Uh, you all make your way into the cart. Omar, are you actually pulling the cart, or are you letting the mule pull the cart? No, I'm going to let the mule pull the cart. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's a low It's a low end cart. It's, it's kind of just like you can ha sit someone in front, and then there's like it's just the back end with like some hay inside of it for relatively nicer. Dr Imagine Skyrim. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine you, Skyrim. You awake in the back of a Skyrim. <laughs> ah, you're finally oh, awake. Oh, you're finally awake. Uh, you're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, you travel off, and the day is nice and sunny. You travel through the peaceful sunny day. Ooh. The sun shines brightly as a cool breeze moves against the tall grass. The dirt road under your feet is is even and made firm. The travel be between here and Fel Moondrof passes a small open field and along the forest path. The fastest route is along the caravan route. The typical groove is marked along the side road, at, along the main road, and a little bit into the side for when the carts occasionally pull over. The, the smooth for this day is smooth and, tra and travels nicely. As the sun eventually, as the day passes through entirely, I need someone to roll me a d20. Can I do it? Sure. Yay! You're not adding anything, just roll me a d20. Okay. I have to get to the right screen. I'm I haven't rolled any dice yet. I'm trusting in you. Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> Very <Yes>. nice. <laughs> yes! I knew to trust in you, God. Beautiful. You almost made so. me spit out my water. <laughs> As the day... So, you come across... As you're traveling through the day, the air is cool, and you see a lake up on the left-hand side. <laughs> it, the, glistening, the glistening water is welcoming and feels feels invigorating. In fact, it seems to encourage you to come to the water side for a moment. It It's encouraging me to go it to encourage, the water? Yes. It's almost, is it almost crystalline? No. Damn it. I don't like that. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Crystal Lake? No, yeah, I'm Crystal thinking Lake? sirens or something. Yeah, no, it's 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 too perfect. <laughs> You're welcome to ignore it. Nothing is making you go. You just see it just seems like it's calling to you. I mean it could roll a perception. Can You're I welcome to. You're welcome fuck, to. Fuck, 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 fuck. I feel like I might be saying that soon, Couch Potato. <laughs> it's the chandelier guy with the burnt hands. The F word over and over again. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I don't know that one. Oh. It's, uh, wait. Oh, God. <laughs> what, Do you what, have the modifier? You mean, you what's mean the, the what, what skill am I using? Perception. Perception. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's minus one. 
Oh! <laughs> so seven? Oh! Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Can like any of us help her? She Can still, we recognize like, if the us? like is there or mm. was it just her? It, hold on. Uh. Why did I close down my sheets? Maybe I should keep those open? Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, it's still negative one. It's negative one total? Oh, no, like, no, uh, no, modifier seven. is negative one. Oh, so it's oh, seven. No, say. Seven? Uh, you are, you are very confident in the fact that, um... It's, a lake. it's just a lake. <laughs> just a lake. Uh, I guess I'm going over to the lake. Did we also see or recognize the lake? Or was it just yeah. you who recognized nope, it? Nope, everyone sees the lake. Can, all right, can so we all yeah, can we all be skeptical of it? Can we all do our own checks? Depends who's who's running the car. Oh yeah, who is the? Yeah, that's the question. I'm gonna say. Well, it's I, hmm? What were you gonna say? I was gonna say it's up to you guys. Who is? I mean, the, if she's out of the car, I feel like we would stop too. We won't just keep going. Yeah, so we'd kind of like, all right, she's walking off to the lake. What okay. are we doing? If you're both, if anyone's skeptical, they can make a quick pers uh, perception check. I already did. Right. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna run another perception check as well. Oh, I have a nine. My god is walking okay. towards a mysterious lake as well. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna have to hop out. Yep. Yep. What? Bye. Good luck. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Bye, Atlas. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So I rolled an eleven plus a four, so I got a fifteen on perception. Nice. You are all very confident in the fact that it's just a nice, beautiful, clean lake. Uh, it must be. A, it must be. Then. Well, I'm going uh, up to the lake. I'll go up calling to me. me. I I run after. Yep. Okay. <laughs> As you all look at sign in all this. Sign is kind of just with you all. She sees no. She sees no issue in this whatsoever. Okay. Like she seems like she's a little. She's a little confused why you're all so skeptical of the lake. Like it's just a lake. We have trust <laughs> Okay. Be skeptical of everything. Okay. Um. Always. So you there all, might be mimics. As you all they go might to the. Kill you. As you all go to the water's edge, <laughs> uh, you all. You all look at the water. Oh no. And it's almost see... like in the carts, just like sleeping or something. <laughs> we had a yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> he is officially sleeping now. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. He's gonna sleep the rest of this this moment. Too many nightmares um, about rabbits last night. <laughs> um. All right, and you all see your reflection in the water. It seems cool. It seems. Uh. Scary. No, actually, in fact, <laughs> it seems quite comforting. It it seems like it wants you to take a big old drink of it. No, no, oh, no, no, oh, no, no, sirens, sirens, no. sirens are gonna suck us in. In fact. Think anyone who rolled under a ten to that perception check? Frick! Oh, I would I'm like you to make. I would like you to make a wisdom saving. No! Oh no! I knew it. So, oh god! So, so a wisdom saving throw is done like this. In your saving throw section of your character sheet, there is a part called saving throws. It is near the top left hand corner of your of your uh, of your stats. Saving throws. Oh, wisdom! Hey. Yep. So you're going to roll a. Uh, I don't know which one. What number you're gonna is roll that? Roll a d20 and add the number that is there. So I'm going to double check for the both of you as well. I just, just clicked it. So Perfect. I. Yeah. Can you can you please repeat that? So, um, in the top left hand corner of your character sheet, there's a yeah. section called saving throws. You can literally just click the button that says wisdom save. The, the words that say wisdom save, and just like how Julie rolled in the roll 20, it'll roll just the same. Did I do it correctly? Uh, no. Yes and no. Like, it did roll the thing, but there's an issue where it rolls um, everything at, at advantage for some reason. When I, so I was just. When I look at my sheet, the modifier is question mark. That's not good. Hold on. That because it's in the category in which it's negative one. But I have proficiency in it. 
Ah, so that so you have <laughs> so it shouldn't be a question mark. Ow. It's just it's just a one. Okay, Wait, so I have a plus three. Plus or minus one. <laughs> At that Let point. me read. I'm trying to read your character sheets. Taking a hot minute for to leave. <laughs> uh, just click the, uh, just click that saving throw if you can. Is it I intelligence did. or wisdom? Wisdom. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry, I, I, I thought I didn't realize that was the part you were confused on. Um, I got oh, it a says four one. And a Nineteen. So I'm. Oh boy, it's doing the same thing. Um, I would suggest both of you just roll a d20, a d20, and then add this. So in the case of Yes, your standard wisdom. So for the case of Julie, your wisdom is a negative one, but you, because you are proficient in wisdom, you get plus two from the proficiency bonus, which balances it out to being a one. So or I have 15. Because yes, I just rolled a, a d20. Yes, you have a 15. Okay, and then my I need... wisdom is a 12, so... But I do, Holly, and I stop need you. Stop licking the floor. So I need you to roll. Don't a... lick the box either. Stop licking it. Perfect. Him. So you get a fourteen. Cool. Both of you are. You're not repulsed by any means, but you're not truly compelled to just stick your full heads in the water. But can I stick my hand in it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you stick your hand in the water. Why? <laughs> yep. Cool. It's water. It's cold. Nice. <laughs> Sasha. Sasha. Why? <laughs> Sasha. It's water. <laughs> it feels refreshing. Is it? Is it though? It feels the quenchiest. It's calling to me. I'm going to reach out to it. So. Is it slime? Is it actually water? It's water. <laughs> you were making this so sus. <laughs> I, you know, I'm always suspicious of everything, okay? <laughs> trust nobody, trust no it's object, nothing. trust nothing. <gasps> nothing. Can, I, can I, do I have Step a jar on me? Just what, what? Do I have, a, like, a jar or a flask or something? Yeah. Can I take some of it? Yeah. I'm going to take some of the suspicious water. You now have lake, you now have this, <laughs> you now have the lake water in whatever you put it in. Suspicious, I'm, in quotation marks, lake water. No, I'm, put, I'm putting sus lake water. Yeah, yeah, there like you water. go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um, so can I just, like, look, like, I can I just, like, peer? Like, I'm not gonna put anywhere near my face <laughs> in the water. I wanna make this, I'm not gonna put any body parts in the water. Okay. I, and I just, like, 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 look deep into it, like, see if I can see anything moving. Sure. Do, would that um, be a perception? Yeah. Thirteen. It is uh, shallow water, so you don't really see anything but like the bottom of the water. It's crystal clean. It's Can I? super okay. super clean. In fact, Sion looks at both of you and just like, I don't know what's going on with the two of you. And she just takes a sip. Like she cups her hands and takes a sip of the water. No! We're all so <laughs> She goes, what? This is, and she goes, what are you all so terrified of? This, this is like, it's like, it's rare that the path actually, it's rare that the path ever takes you near the lake. No one really, really stops by it. But everyone who stops by it always keeps telling me that this place has like magical qualities to it. Like relaxing qualities I was going to, to say, can I check the arcana? Yeah. Sure. You can, you can use, our, you can make an arcana check. That's a nine. You you believe from what Sign just told you that this water definitely seems like it has some properties to it. Well, good thing I have a freaking thing of it now. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see that she's trying to check to see if it has magic in it and then also do the same thing as well? Yes, I'm not going to make you make the first roll. You can just tell that. Um because it's kind of obvious when people do that yeah. sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, you can make an Arcana check roll as well. All right, sweet. Oh, Seventeen plus two, <laughs> so I got a nineteen. What? I gotta help my god. You are very confident <laughs> this has magical properties, and the fact oh, yeah. that they're actually po and they're positive qualities too. Like they're they're more they're more clerical in nature. All right, so uh, I obviously dumped both of my water skin, not mine, 
Sasha's water skin and my water skin out. Yeah, can you I fill out? it with it, and then I pass <laughs> Sasha's water skin back to her, and then I jump in. You jump in? Fully, fully clothed. Uh, all right, you are fully in the water. Um, do you can ever let, do too? you ever drink any of the water? No, no, I'm I'm fully uh, not parched. Okay. Unparched, whatever that okay, word is. Okay, so you don't open your mouth when you're in the water. Got it. That's correct. Got um, it. Can I could just take a big gulp of it then. I see Absolutely. In it. I see um, El Elias jumped in it. Like, I feel like there's... I'm going to yeah. take a sip. Great. Um, roll me a d10. What? Roll me a d10. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> I think I know... Oh! Oh, oh no. Or hmm? I think I know what it is. <laughs> A one? You the gain one. one temporary you gain one temporary hit point. Do we all sense that she gained health? Nope. You just feel more energized. Yep, you feel it yeah, Sasha, you gain one temporary hit point. Can I go I swimming and then like almost drown? Till you either take the huh? Can I go swimming and almost drown accidentally? And then like save myself somehow? To access the water? <laughs> I that's not how that works! <laughs> I know. I had to try, damn it. Drowning, drowning, and drowning, and like t temporary hit points are like you just start taking a beating, and you're not taking as much as a beating anymore. <laughs> not I'm drowning. My lungs are filled with water. I had to try, damn it. <laughs> no, but uh, Sasha, you do. So there's a section in your in your character sheet knows temporary hit points. Basically, these hit points, when if you take damage. These are the things that go away before your actual HP does. Okay, I added one to my temporary hit points. Yep, uh, and this will last until you take a long rest. Okay. So yeah, you feel more invigorated. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what it was. You had a feeling? Yeah. I, well, I, I just go, go ahead. I just I remember last time in um in a different campaign it was soup. Mmm. And it was suspicious stew. They wouldn't tell us what was in it. But All every right, time so we drank some of it, we would gain hit points. So just for the record, both Elias and I have a water satchel full of this. That is correct. And, and I have Julie like a, has a jar. The jar really really has, has a like jar. glass something. I have something, something. with it. Is the jar equivalent to one one water satchel? Yes, roughly. Okay. Okay. Yep. So it's a it's a one time use. Uh, basically, if you drink it, you get to roll, uh, and you get you get roll a d10, and you gain that many temporary hit points. Okay. Yeah. Do they stack? Like, okay, like hypothetically, let's say Julie, you want to give her, she drinks her jar, she drinks mm -hmm. El, El, uh, Elias' water satchel, and then I give her my water satchel. Do Excellent question. stack? Excellent question. So the way this works is, let's say that Julie, it it sort of works that way. Basically, if if Julie drinks the first one and gets like a two, she'll gain two temporary hit points. But then she drinks, uh, then she drinks yours, and she gets an eight she doesn't have the two anymore she now has an eight okay so the highest number wins the highest number will always win okay and like, let's say and then she were to drink like elias's and then it's and it's like a six that it's still the eight you don't go down okay makes sense okay yeah so now mm -hmm. currently sasha and elias are soaking wet yeah, yeah. No, I just real. took a sip. I didn't jump in. <laughs> Did you jump I... in all over your head? No, I just, I just took a sip. <laughs> I, I, you said you jumped in and took a whole breathful. No, 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 no that was me. That was me. I was trying to drown myself so I could accidentally drink some, without oh, without knowing that I drank it because I obviously don't know that I drank it. We breathed don't know in that water. I, should drink this, I just took a sip. Yeah, no, uh, Sasha, Sasha is fully dry. I'm the only one who is wet, and I'm gonna York. like try to take like a mini bath right now because I didn't take one last night. Jeez, oh, I'm not unclothing, okay? I but gotta, all, I, I gotta yes, stay somewhat. He's still like, stinky he's from dead. when the fluid fell on him, and he smells Thank like lavender. You. And he almost <laughs> died. You and Omar both. <laughs> so I sort of like kind of just like wash myself off a little bit. 
then I'll get out. Um, yep. Sasha, you don't tell us about like feeling better or anything like that, because does she sense that she feels better? Oh, she definitely senses that she feels better. Okay. All right. Well, that, I guess that's up to you then. Can I mention it to Julie? Because I feel like yeah. Elias is just like out, like paddling away his little life. Away. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I like nudge Julie and be like, "Hey, like I feel like I feel better. You might want to take a sip." I'll cautiously take a sip. Like, all right, roll me a d10. Very slowly, carefully. <laughs> roll me a d10. Nine. You gain nine temporary hit points. Holy shit! Right. <laughs> All right. So, in my um, notes, I said hip points. Hip, hip points. points. Uh, so after, so after your little excursion in the lake, uh, yes, d yes, does not stack. If you, ha I guess that's where my my information definitely. This that's where my stream currently is. Yes. Um, yes, not a wizard. We were we were discussing that. Unfortunately, I think my stream is a little behind on that information. Uh, either way, uh, you all managed to get out of the lake. Um, and you returned to the cart with Elias now being soaking wet. Can I ask everybody if they have a um blow drying spell and i say it in those exact terms <laughs> blow drying spell yep <laughs> okay uh i might have something i so don't you, so you know what i mean when i say that <laughs> um i cast present dig digitation i'm getting better you're gonna set um, me on fire by accident <laughs> to instantly clean oh okay <laughs> mm, mm, mm be funny if you set me on fire. Jeez. You have to run back in the lake again. <laughs> run back the can lake I again. do it twice? Once to clean, once to warm. Uh -oh. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Oh, wait. Warm is for non-living. Never mind. Oh. Is it a spell Just do it, it once cantrip? for cleaning. If it's a spell, you might want to save your spell slots. Cantrip. Okay. Cantrip. okay. All right. Just one tick. Yep. Trust me... I've only casted one spell that actually took up a slot so far right. this whole entire time. So does she succeed then? Yep. All right. Well, I uh, I fall on my knees again and I like kind of like do a praying <laughs> pose. I'm saying, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> we, yep. we have a talent to save. You're just like super uncomfortable with it. You just keep going. <laughs> yep. It's great. All right. I just didn't want you getting sick. As you as you continue down the road, thing the air gets a little chillier, and you think as the sun begins to set after a few hours that it's best if you start making camp. Do you continue to push on until it's completely dark to make camp, or do you start making camp now? You said the so sun is I'm starting the only to set. One setting soon. It's been several hours now. Several more hours pass afterward. The day is almost through. Mm. So I'm the only one with um, night vision, so it's really up nope. to you guys. Julie's got some too. I oh, have dark okay. vision. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, Elias, I guess, do you Yeah, and if Omar is still asleep, it's only me who can't see, but <laughs> if you're asking the question, like, hey, should we, you know, set up camp, whatever... I basically uh, gotcha. say, you know, it's probably better to stop here due to the changing weather conditions. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with set with camp, like laying down camp for the night. The town's not, not going to anywhere, so we might as well take our time. I nod my head and I go out to collect firewood. Jesus. Map change. Goodbye, yep, map change. Everybody. It genuinely scared me. <laughs> <laughs> map change. That's not good. Map changes aren't good. And well, Omar's asleep for all of this, right? He's just yep. dead asleep. He's in a coma. Oh, gods. 
Goodbye. He's like snoring and slightly drooling in the cart. All right. Um, you all get ready to set up. You get yourself ready, and you manage to successfully set up camp for the night. And we're going to call it there, as you all will level up. Okay. Sweet. I don't all... like seeing maps with big areas. Especially well, maps then. with those squares on them. D&D &D squares. D&D &D squares. But yes, so we're going to end it there. Uh, give me a second to just close out for everyone else, uh, and then I'll be right back. I have to close First. too, so I'll be yep. back too. All right. Okay, everyone. Let's switch over to chatting. I should probably raid. I don't know if Captain is going to raid someone in specific. Bye, Couch Potato! Um, but we're going to find someone to raid ourselves, because why not? Shush music. No double music. No dub double music. That's that's not good. Let's see. Uh... I think... Okay. Joybird and Coyote is playing some Star Stable, so we'll go ahead and raid them. They're playing the Sabine mission with the uh, spring event. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Tomorrow we are playing um, some Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge at the normal time of 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a good morning, good night, good day, and I'll see you guys all next time. Wait, what, what do you mean you're scared? I don't... I That makes me scared that you're scared. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! Bye, everyone! Bye-bye!